yes hello everyone welcome to your physics classroom i am lawala litungi your physics tutor to our returning viewers welcome back to your classroom to our new viewers welcome to the physics classroom please do where to press the subscribe button turn on your notification button press your like and share button and put your comment in the comment box as we all know that we are still in the season of NECO 2025 and physics uh, questions, theory and objective will soon be written in the next few hours. Those of you that have always been with us, I hope you are enjoying us. They are the ones that can share the testimony. Alright? For So, our new viewers, please do wait to press the subscribe button as we continue with our physics uh, question. If you can see on my screen currently, you are seeing question 7, telling you that question 1, 2, 3 to 6 have been solved. Likewise, I think question uh, 10, 11, 12 also being solved. But right now, you are seeing question 7 on my screen. What am I saying all these things? That is, do where to check our playlist to pick up the videos uh, that explain or that shows uh, such videos. Okay, and likewise, always monitor our comment box. Any comment we pin there will direct you to the next video. Section B continues. Question number seven. And let's start solving as usual. As you have known, whenever I'm with you like this, that we are revising our possible questions. When those of you that you have been with us, you know, when I say possible questions, you know what it means. So, when I'm with questions like this, definitely I'll be with my paper that I will use to solve it as usual. So, I will start solving it one after the other. What I want from you right now is to pick up your book, your pen. This is a classroom. Our own is to revise with you. No matter any information we see, we will bring it to your own screen and share with you in this classroom. So, let's start solving. The first question we are seeing is that is question number seven. It says a car accelerates uniform please do where to watch the video from beginning to the end the video will not be too long so that it will not be boring and likewise you'll be able to achieve that what you need remember that when writing the exam all the information you are seeing on your screen they are the watch out information for your examination so uh, a car accelerates uniformly from rest to a speed of 20 meter per seconds in 10 seconds find one acceleration to the distance covered so my solution page is here. Now this is my when I see my solution page, that is my paper. I want to rule. All right, I write solution. Writing solution. That is question seven. Uh, A. What are those parameters they give to us now? Uh, please, when you are solving questions in physics, this question you come down. Read your question very well and interpret. A car accelerates uniformly from rest. That word rest means your what? Please put your answer in the comment box. Whenever you hear the word rest, what comes to your mind? Put your answer in the comment box. I'll pause for a second, a few seconds for you for your answer. So I'm waiting for your response. So U is zero meter per second. That's the meaning. And they gave all the speed of 20 uh, meter per seconds they give us the speed of 20 meter per second they give us time of uh, 10 seconds and they asked us to find acceleration the first question while the second question said we should find the x this uh, distance very simple remember all your equations of motions we have the first one that said that uh, v equals to u plus a t which can also be written as a equals to v minus u over t you know the meaning v is your final velocity and u is your uh, initial velocity all right since you have known that a equals to 20 minus 0 over what's my t 10 that is a equals to 20 over 10 and a equals to 2 meter per second square that is how we set to our question what uh 7a1 i move to 7a2 where we are told to find the distance that is x another equation of motion that support that statement if you remember we have equation of motion that said x equals to ut plus 
half 80 square ut plus half 80 square so i want you please do well to share this link with your friends we have many we have we have many people many we have hundreds of thousands of candidates writing neko and we know that some of them are also writing physics please do well to help them and share the link all right our u is zero so we say x equals to zero times our t is 10 plus one over two times what's our acceleration that we just got two and what's our time the time is 10 you square it this one is zero already so x equals to one over two times two times 10 square is 100 so when you cut this and this put your answer in the comment box what will be your answer i'm waiting for your answer in the comment box where you do it right we have 100 meter as your uh distance and that's how we said that i moved to 7b because of our time i'm moving to 7b the seven b question is also a very simple question was that it says something that a body of mass 10 kg is lifted vertically to a height of eight meters calculate the work done in lifting the object you write given when you write given you will know what to do they gave us mass of 10 kg they gave us height of eight meter they gave us acceleration due to gravity 9.8 meter per seconds and we are asked to find work i and you know that work is equals to force times distance work is equals to force times what times distance we all know that one and luckily for us our distance is our height but what is about force you also need to recall that uh, force is equals to mass times acceleration our acceleration here is acceleration due to gravity our m here is 10 so f equals to 10 times 9.8 and when you do that you get f equals to 98 newton but now you cannot come here to finalize it w w equals to 98 times what times 8 press the calculator and put your answer in the comment box 98 times 8 put your answer in the comment box press and put your answer if you have done it right we have seven eight four joules that is how we set to uh question seven uh b i'm right so we have done seven a one let me label that as seven a one and likewise we have done seven b so we are going to question uh which one c of it an object of mass 500 gram is dropped from a height of 20 meter calculate the potential energy at the height another one was just before it is the ground when your g is 10 meter per second square now with, with that one again very simple interpretation you interpret what are those things they give to us uh we are that is 7c that's 7c uh they gave us um, given they gave us mass and 500 gram you know your standard unit for mass is kilogram convert mass to kilogram what do you have when you convert mass to kilogram i'll be having 0. Point what 0. 0.5 kg so they gave us height of 20 meters and they want us to find the potential energy that's the first question and likewise they say we should find the v it's a very simple question you do it one after the other the first question is potential energy and what's formula for potential energy i'm not in the first one formula for potential energy potential energy is equals to m g h i wait for you i've given you the formula solve it and put your answer in the comment box i wait for a second or few seconds for your answers before i continue yes if you have done it right your potential energy becomes 0 0.5 you know our they gave us g our g is what 10 meter per second square so that one will tell us that um we have 0 0.5 times 10 times 20 what will be your response i'm waiting for you i'm waiting for your answer what will be your answer Drop your answer in the comment box before I continue. 
Yes, what's the answer? If you have done it right, what do you have? You know, 0 0.5 times 10, that's 5. That is, I'm going to be getting 100 joule. You get 100 joule. Confirm your answer with your own answer. That's why I said you should drop your answer in the comment box so that we'll be on the same page. All right, I move to questions um, 7C2. That's where we should find um, the velocity just before it hits the ground. Just before it hits the ground, you know, that is, we have a a uh, formula about that, that velocity before it is the ground is talking about the square root of 2 the square root of 2 g h if you want to know how we got this formula please do where to watch our videos on um equation of motion mechanics where we talk about um energy work and power you will see this formula how we prove it but this is a classroom and we are revising. We don't need to turn into proper teaching by bringing the topic. So that's why I'm moving forward. I don't want to take much of your time. So we have V equals to what's our G? Our G is 10 and our H is 20. Which means that we have V equals to square root of 400. V is equals to, v equals to square root of 400. And when you have V is equal to the square root of 400, you know what it means? Press your calculator and what will you have as your response? What will be your response? Yes, I want your response. Put your response in the comment box. When I find the square root of V, I'll be having V equals to 20 uh, meter per seconds. And that's how we set to number 7. We have set to question number 7. And this time around, I want to go to question number 8. Let's go to question number eight. When you talk about question eight, even I've written question eight a, they say you state two laws of reflection. Two laws of reflection. You know when you talk about reflection, please do where to watch our video on the light waves. Also the reflection of light, where we discuss mirrors and we discuss even reflection itself. To be able to get those uh, content very well. We say laws of reflection. Laws of reflection. When you talk about the laws of reflection from the diagram, we know we can reflection mirror is one that can show majorly what reflection is all about. Maybe I should quickly give you a chart to let you know. You know, if I have my incident ray, I will have my reflected ray. I have my incident with angle, reflected ray and angle. I can I will need to draw a line that separates the two rays. We call that one normal. This is normal. I believe you can see that that is normal. This is incident ray. You can see that. And this is reflected ray. This is my mirror. This is my mirror. You can see my mirror properly. So now I'm describing what reflection is all about. I've not stated the law. I will want to use the diagram to state the law. Now the second one, look at this place. The angle between the incident ray and normal, we call it angle of incident. For this place, we call it angle of uh, reflection. You can see that. All what I put on your screen is what I wish to state the law. And this is a class I need to explain better. This is what we call play now. You call it play mirror. So moving forward now, how can I state the law? You also can see the law on your screen. Look at my hand. I have incident ray. I have normal. I have reflected ray. Where do they meet? Can you see where they all meet? They all meet on the plane. That's the first law. That is incident ray, normal, and reflected ray all meet or all lie on the same plane. That's the first law. I believe it's very simple to understand. Incident ray, normal, and reflected ray all meet, all lies. Anyone you pick on the same plane with your simple English. So I'll write that that incident ray. Reflected ray. And normal. 